so today I give up drinking for good. From now on, I'm just going to drink for evil. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to Virtually Real. This is Liam. Hey. And he's getting married soon. So to prepare him for the horrors of marriage, we put him on Resident Evil 4. This starts off real graphic. Ha 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 ha. kitty kitty. It's like something from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That is a big cock. Ooh, chicken egg. My toes are gripping the floor. <laughs> wow, just the intro. That was good. Hey Liam. Hey mate, how are you? Thanks for coming back on. Thanks for having us. Now, um, we had a chat before you played this game and you recalled that the last Resident Evil game you played was the original Resident Evil 4. It was, yeah. This is the remake in VR. What were your first impressions? Awesome. Oh, I loved it. Um, I think start off visually, um, the textures just walking through that Victorian build and going down initially just to do the gun tutorial. Um, and once you got into the game as well, just the constant 3D sound effects just had me on edge the whole time. Wow. 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 Whoa. 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 It's just instant anticipation. I don't like that sound. Oh, hey, straight off the bat, the graphics are awesome. It's never a good sign when the crows are around. It's a great looking game. The lighting effects, the, the tension's there from the very first scene. When it, when it drops you into that little forest part and you're walking through and you see the dead deer and the dead rabbit and stuff like that. But it's just it's just so atmospheric. Yeah, yeah. I, nail on the head. Um, I think the whole time I was playing, probably an hour, hour and a half, my toes were gripping the mat. My hands and palms were sweaty and I had hold of the, you know, the, the VR controller as tight as I could. Yeah, the atmosphere and the scene was awesome. Perfect from what you want from a Resident Evil game. My hands are clammy already. Pop him. Pop, pop. Kill him. Oosh. Yeah, sweet. Get some Kung Fu shit going on. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Oh, shit. Here we go. Die. Oh, I love the reload on that. That's awesome. Now, you mentioned the gun mechanics, and I do get the feeling that you could have spent an hour in there just ejecting the clip, <laughs> putting the clip back in and cocking the gun. It's very satisfying. It is, yeah. And it didn't get old, and it wasn't too difficult, although I probably made it look very difficult. Um, I think the hardest bit was just remembering to release the old clip. But, yeah, release, black, ball, it was a lot of fun. And like you say, you went for a part where you were grabbing the gun and then you were grabbing the shotgun and you're like, it's so amazingly easy and responsive Yeah. until there's an enemy. <laughs> exactly. While you're just walking around, sort of tension, what's going on, looking around for your herbs and your, your extra gunpowders and bullets, and you're right, until the masses come and then all of a sudden you don't know what you're doing. You're like, oh, God, what a... <laughs> you drop your gun, you have to wait for it to reload into your holster. Yeah. Ah! Where's my knife? Where's my knife? Where's my knife? <laughs> ah, reload. Grab my gun. <laughs> I can't do that. I don't know what happened there, but uh, <laughs> I got to reload. Ah, go! What's going on? Uh, intense? Why can't I? Ugh. I don't know why I put so much effort into that. Oh. Oh. I am sweaty as 
Now, you played the whole of chapter one. Yeah. Um, and you played it quite a clip. You went through it pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, easy to control? No motion sickness? Not. The only time I got a bit of motion sickness was when I stood on the spot and did a full 360. And that was a bit like, whoa. But there wasn't really any need for that. That was just a moment. Um, the only thing, if I had to say there was something that I didn't like, which was at the beginning when I kept tapping like back on the left stick and it would do the um, quick turn, the quick turn. But that was a simple change. Just turn it off in the settings and it was all good. So. Just in case I run out of... Whoa! Got me. Holy. I did not see that. Am I going to walk with a limp now? I must say, this is very, very intense, but it's a lot of fun. What is going on here? No! No. Too many. Too many. Here we go. Oh, damn it. Wow. Is he not going to go down? What is that inside of you? Holy. Sorry, love. Oh. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Nice. <laughs> my god, my heart is racing. Your core Resident Evil, you've got the typewriters for saves. Yeah. You've got ammo, you've got herbs, um, you've got crafting, you've got scares, you've got tension. Um, and in VR, everything is just ramped up to 11. Yeah, I was literally dripping in your headset, so I, I do apologise for that. Uh, I'm just going to go on a little bit of a rampage just to see if there's any goodies. Oh, oh nice. that will do. That. Yes, please. Anything else in here? Oh. First aid. Gunpowder. Saddles. No way up. Oh, yeah, there is. Go up here. Hmm. Got a pretty good ass. Whoa! Whew. I think I need to take the herb just to recover. And another cool feature in this is when you get to grab the torch off the top of your head. Yeah. And you can that hold the torch awesome. and shine it around. Yeah. It's, it's little touches like that that just kind of make you go, oh, this is, this is something special. Yeah. And like you said, the kick feature. Just a small thing, but... A kick finish, it was pretty awesome. It was good. And the sneak, having the, the, the sneak and not having to do what I initially did, was creep up and just go da 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 No, you and were pretty actually, handy with the knife. I, I, got, I got quite excited a few times with the knife. Yeah, I would have actually liked to have gone back and see how far you could get just with a knife. Oh, that is cool. Oh, yes. That is cool. Oh, there's a chest. Can I get to it? Anything out here? Ah, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah? Ah, just at the point in time. Oh, there's another one. That never gets old. Animal lovers, please look away now. Um, you can kill the animals in this. As we found out, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. killing a chicken. That was fun. <laughs> but killing a cow. Look. I gave it some satisfaction to begin with in an earlier clip, so I kind of don't want to waste one, but 
Oh! <laughs> Sorry, had to be done. Ooh. Looks tempting. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> About a few cows in my tongue. Potatoes! I just I really want to. But I know I shouldn't. Oh, now I can suck on them teddies. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Be a really bad comedian, wouldn't I? Just laugh at all my own jokes. The mechanics of the game are beautiful. It looks beautiful. The 3D sound design through those Pulse 3D headsets are just next level. Yeah, and that's really what keeps you on edge. Just as you're walking through, you know, it's kind of... Your track is, is lit and it's not like open world, you know. You know, relatively, you know, where you got to go. It's pretty straightforward. But just having those background noises, even like the leaves of the trees falling behind you or you'd, you'd hear a giggle or you'd hear some Spanish going on in the background, you'd be like, shit, what, what's going on? What's going on? So I, I, I loved it. It was real good. It's just like 3D sound effects and it's constant. It's like, where's that noise coming from? Quite impressed how, like, easy it is just to pick. Pick. Love that. Someone's going to come running in, aren't they? I heard a door. I heard a door. God damn. Seriously? Alright, that speech earlier about ease of access to, gra to grab my shotgun. This, 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 this. If in doubt, give him a clout. I'm gonna chop you up, pork chop. Oh, he's beef, isn't he? But yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, no, nah, this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, sick. It's like a finisher. Did the narrative grab you? Were you interested in the story? Uh, look, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure where the story was going, but we only played the first chapter. Having said that, the way the first chapter ended, I'd be super keen to jump back in and see see what happens. Oh, look at the way the bridge moves. Whoa, mother f oh, I'm out of bullets. Where's my shotgun? Come at me! Ooh. Does not sound good. Come on. Oh, that was pretty good if I say so myself. Oh, nothing like a cup of tea and a bit of trout. Oh, what? Come on, him. Oh, let's go with one of them. See what happens. <laughs> hey! Totally forgot I had that. That was good. What the hell? What do I do? Oh, let's see what it is first. Oh, it's a good job I didn't shoot you, hey? Oh, is it the chain? Whoa, who the hell is that? Looks like the Undertaker from the 80s. Get up, get up. Well, we do this at the end of every virtual reel. One thumb for the game, one thumb for if you would buy and play the game. What does this game get on your thumb rating? Two thumbs from me. Oh, two thumbs from me. It's 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 a it's a classic. It's already a classic game. It's only been out like two months, and it's already a classic game on the PSVR too. So yeah, Resident Evil Four. Don't even think about it. Just go and buy it Just now. Get it. All that's left to say is thank you, Liam, for coming over and playing Resident Evil Four, the remake. Oh. It was awesome. Thank you for having me again. Thank you for watching at home. Stay virtually real. Bye. So what laugh do evil cows make? No idea. Moo ha 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 ha. Moo ha 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 ha.